cars have to stop. Yeah, th no thanks, soccer mom. Like, not even paying attention. Like, just she was looking at something. Turn left on South Central Expressway. I mean, I could have did it without her, without her slowing down, but you know, she's just like, bah, 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 bah. and I need a big truck turning here. I'm not gonna stop a little bit and give him a little bit of room. Nope, sure ain't. What is up guys, Dave back again for another trucking vlog and we are in Dallas right now. We just delivered um, to this place over here. It's like a furniture store. And now I'm going to make my next pickup. All right, boys, let's get on up out of here. We Continue got about a... Feet to the end of the street, then turn right. 46 minutes, huh? How did CFI dispatch me like 14 minutes down the road or something? It's actually 20, or they dispatched me like 14 miles down the road, I thought, but everything's showing it's 28. <laughs> Can't see, boys. Oh, yeah. Okay, we're good. Because yeah, I got to take this wide. You're just going to have to wait, car. You are going to have to wait. Thank you very much. We're good. I took that with extra room, but I really couldn't see because it was kind of a sharp right hand turn. I couldn't really see how much room I needed, so I took it extra wide, obviously, which is why I did it. All right, what we got going here? Oh, I had it. I had it until he decided he wanted to take a right. Now there's another car coming. Oh, lovely. There we go, now we got it. Yeah, so we got 46 minutes and this place is in Dallas and I'm in what's called Richardson, Texas, which is like a part of Dallas. In one half mile, turn right on East Main Street. It's like the north part of Dallas. So, yeah, one end of Dallas to the other. And then we are taking this load to Topeka, Kansas. That's where I'm going next to the Home Depot Distribution Center. Been there plenty of times, like the place, easy. Um, every time I've ever been there, well actually I've only been there in the middle of the night. And in the middle of the night, it's been pretty simple, no big deal. I haven't been there during the day. Maybe it's busy and crazy during the day like some of the other Home Depots, but uh, yeah, I like this Topeka, Kansas one. And if I can get there in the middle of the night again, I will. Turn right at the traffic light. Pretty much anywhere is pretty chill in the middle of the night, for the most part. Some places aren't. Some places are crazy even in the middle of the night, three in the morning, but you know. Okay, we got the green light now. Those cars have to stop. Yeah, th no thanks, soccer mom. Like, not even paying attention. Like, just, she was looking at something. Miles. Turn left on South Central Expressway. I mean, I could have did it without her without her slowing down, but you know, she's just like, bah, 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 bah. and I need a big truck turning here. I'm not gonna stop a little bit and give him a little bit of room. Nope, sure ain't. Oh, we got construction up here too, man. Do I go straight here? Yeah, I do. I don't take a right at all. I take a right. Oh man, look at all this traffic up here, boys. What is all this? Everybody waiting at this light. I gotta get, well, this takes me to Central Expressway, which is the main road to get us to where we're going. Well, maybe it won't be that long if this light stays green for a little while. We shall see. Ooh, Mediterranean cuisine and grill. I like Mediterranean food, and this light did not stay green for very long. Whole summer. It's not going to. We're gonna wait in here again. I won't make it again. I won't make it on the next one. 100% I won't. Hey, Indopac Supermarket, Asian and Mediterranean Food and Cafe. Hey, I like this, hey, Bollywood Spice. What is that? Authentic Pakistan cuisine, an Indian. It said Indian and Pakistan. <laughs> Interesting. Anyways, if we ever get through this flipping light. See, I don't want to block this street. That's the thing, I don't think I can go. No, I can't go anyways, because the light's going to turn red. See, I wouldn't have been able to fit. That was the thing I was worried about. They got construction up there slowing everybody down. 
Well, at least I'll make it now. Dude, I don't want to hit your blower there, bro. Okay, now he sees that I'm coming. All right, now I have to take a left. I got to get over to the left lane. All right, I'm coming, boys. I'm going slow. I'm going 15. Going 15, buddies. All right. Keeping slow. Slow and steady wins the race. Be in either of the two left lanes. Then turn left on South Central Expressway. Yeah, thank God. Get up out of this crap. All right, it says either of the two left lanes. So we're just gonna go ahead and hang out here. All right. I mean, I know I don't take a left here, but is that, is that, yeah, okay, perfect. Yeah, I can see the, the, the sign now that says both lanes turn left. I wanna make sure it didn't open up to another one. You know, sometimes like, you know, you know you gotta be in the left two lanes, but it's gonna open up to another one over there and I'm in the third, you know what I mean? That actually happens sometimes. Now you gotta drive all through freaking Dallas. But the good news is it's 10. So, should be pretty free flowing in Dallas at this hour. There's a car behind me. Just always kind of watch them, make sure they just don't decide at the last minute. Oh, yeah, let me go to the left of the truck that's turning. Okay, we're Take good. Take the exit on the left to US 75 South. Left lane ends. Well, we'll stay right here then. I was going to get over because I have to take the exit in half a mile. Take the exit on the left to US 75 South. But yeah, man, you got to be careful because, like, you may think, like, I have the whole lane. Like, there's only one car behind me, and then you start making your turn, but then at the last minute, that car decided, you know what, I, I don't want to wait behind this truck to make his turn. And then they swing over to the left, and you're taking it kind of sharp because you think you got the room, and then bam, you hit the car. And then it's over with. Then... That's that. That's a wrap. And y'all know good and well people will do that. You already know. It's just, just, just natural. All right, boys. Get on this exit here. Skirp. Skirp. All right. We're looking good. In the neighborhood. 11 miles. We get on 35 East towards Waco. I'm just going to do a driving vlog for this log, boys. We're going to do some driving. All right, it's 70 here. Yeah, I know truck, I'm braking, I'm braking. It's 70, come on. Jeez, we're going 50. We're literally going 50 here, 70. I don't know what deal is. I got people to do and places to see, let's go. Come on, people. Left lanes. Well, let's go on ahead and hop over. All right, I gotta hop over, boys. Don't do it, car. Ugh. I'm in the lane I'm supposed to be in. Now, does this truck need to get over or not? I guess he's taking the exit. Okay, he is taking the exit. I just like to make sure sometimes, man, because, you know, if another driver needs to get over or something at the last minute, he didn't realize his stuff was ending, I'll always let him over, you know? Try to help out around here. Actually, at last place I was at, I had to help a guy get out. He couldn't get out because I was backed in and there was a truck across from me backed in and it was like a little bitty gap, right? Where you had to kind of like go between us in like a, almost like a figure eight motion, like a little snake motion. Well, he would have been, his trailer would have been on his blind side. He came over and asked me, he's like, man, do you think you can guide me to get around y'all? I was like, yeah, no problem, man. So I hopped out and, you know, walked by his passenger door watching his trailer to make sure he didn't hit the other guy's truck. Um, it's kind of hard to explain the way it looked. You just, it just, it was weird. It was like, almost like a figure eight, or like I said, like a snake, a half eight that he had to do. Anyway, so, you know, I walked by his door and I'm like, yeah, you got it, you got it, you got it, as he was turning because he couldn't see his trailer. Um, because it was a really weird turn. I mean, you know, he probably could have gotten out and looked eight times, you know, as he kept going, but it's just easier with me out there telling him he was okay. So, you know, it's not always try to help guys out here, man. I do. One thing I don't like doing, though, I don't like, like, running up to somebody's truck, but, hey, man, can I help, you know, when... Oh, come on, people, it's 70. What are you doing? Why are we, why are we going 50? 
Like all three of these cars here are going 50. It's a 70 here. What's it? What's the deal? God bless. Anyways, what I was trying to say is, I don't like just run it. Like the moment I see a guy's like, you know, he has to pull back up a couple times and try to readjust and re-aim his back or whatever. I don't like run out and go knock on his door. Hey man, can I help you? You know, because a lot of times guys don't like that out here. Like they don't want you to get, like they can get it. It's the same thing with me. I'm gonna struggle, but I'm gonna get it. You know, and I know I'm gonna get it. Uh, and it's beeping because that car just got over in front of me. Like I know that I'm going to get it, you know? I've actually had people come up and try to help me after, you know, I just kind of set up a little poorly, I had to redo it a couple of times, and then they come up, they're like, hey man, do this or do that, and I'm kind of like, I got it, like, I, I know I can do it, I just have to, I just messed up my setup. And it, it, so I know it's kind of like an awkward feeling when guys do it to me, so I don't like going and doing it to other people. Now, obviously, if they're struggling for a while or they definitely look like they have no clue what they're doing, then yeah, I have gotten out and helped guys before. But, like I said, it's, it's kind of sketchy when you go, you know, this guy could have been driving for 10 years and he's just having a bad backing day. Like, we all have them where you just can't back for the life of you. Please go get it, you know? <laughs> So I don't know, man. It's, uh, god dang. It's like I had the opening and then another slow car decides to get over in front of me. Like, come on, guys. Or let's say it's like a female driver or something, right? Like, if I go up and ask her if she needs help, she, she's going to automatically think because she's a female, I'm going over there to try to help her and try to holler at her or whatever the case may be. Even if that ain't the case, it's just like, you know, I, I just don't know what to expect. So unless I really see that they're really struggling or let's say they're blindsiding, right? Yeah, okay. I'll hop out the truck and go help. I'll be like, hey man, you want me to spot you since you're blindsiding it, you know? Maybe throw in like a little, I know you can do it without me, but I figured I might help, you know, some, be a little extra eyes or something. I don't know. Dude. But I'm definitely like, some guys are like really gung-ho with it, you know what I mean? I try not to be like that. I don't want to be like, yeah, let me go help every guy out here type guy. You know what I mean? And like just badger everybody. Hey man, can I help you? You know, like sitting in my driver's seat at the truck stop, like, who needs help? Who needs help? No, I don't do all that. <laughs> It's very rarely, but like the situation today, you know, that guy needed some help. Hey, I don't have a problem with it, man. I'll come help you. You look like you're about to come over regardless of what I do. I mean, I can't get over, but I don't know. He looks sketchy to me. <laughs> he, he looked like, I don't know. He just, he was coming on there. I was like, he's about to get over on me. I didn't trust him. I had a bad, I trusted my gut there. I don't know. Didn't have a good feeling about it. Y'all all better get over if you're going to get over right now. You got two seconds, Tesla. Okay, he's, he's going that way. Because <laughs> that van was getting over at the very last flipping second, man. Because we got two miles. We got to get on 35 east towards Waco. Um, I'm hoping that this is the correct lane. I don't remember. I don't know. It might end. It might not. Who knows? That's why it's always sketchy being in the far lane sometimes because it's so often that the far lane like the far right lane suddenly just oh it's an exit you got to take this exit and then you got to fight your way back over in traffic and stuff luckily it's a good time of day 10 30 in the morning traffic's pretty smooth whoa 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 y'all slow down behind me too homies Only try to throw them four ways on whenever I see traffic. Yeah, it's coming to a stop. You see, everybody's going around me now. So now I'm trying to throw my four ways on again to warn the cars that are coming up really fast behind me that, hey, traffic's stopping here for whatever reason. Because city. <laughs> All right, now we're good. Well. Now we gotta go uphill with no speed now because everybody stopping because of traffic. I'm empty though, so that helps. If I was loaded, it'd take me forever to get up this thing now. Yep, everybody's gonna duck and dodge in front of me. Of course they are. 
no patience. I still have to be in this lane, that's why I'm staying here. Breaking again, as soon as I get back up to speed, of course. Alright, so we're gonna have to, uh... In one mile, keep left toward I-35 E South. Yeah, I know. This is the lane I gotta be in, though, which is good. Oh. See, I came through here this morning, it was 5 a.m. It was smooth as butter at 5 a.m. Dang, look at all that, everybody stopped up here. Lord, have mercy. There's traffic congested up in this tunnel, man. Why don't y'all just pick a lane and stick in it? That's what caused all this traffic congestion. <laughs> I'll just pick a lane. Everybody's got to duck and dive into every... Look, this guy don't even know what he wants to do. He's like, oh, the left lane looks to be moving a hair faster. Oh, no, now the right lane does. Let me hop back over. Like, it's just like, gee, I'll just go. <laughs> just go, bros. That's all we got to do. Lost satellite reception. Yeah, because we're in a tunnel. Tell me about it. I know what I gotta do though. It's got 35 East to Waco. If we ever flip and get there. I hate, this is why I hate that. Y'all ask me why I don't like Dallas going through Dallas. This is why I don't like going through Dallas. This is at 10.30 in the morning. Imagine this place when it's 7.30 in the morning. Yeah. It ain't no fun. <laughs> My GPS wants me to take a, a left right now. <laughs> it literally is what it wants me to do. Like, take a left. No, that's all right. I'm not taking a left on the field street. <laughs> like, like, what do you want me to do, GPS? I know where I gotta go, though. I don't know what the heck she said. Come again. I think he said he drove for Schneider. Something about the fire hose and the ladder. Yeah, up the fire hose and down the ladder. <laughs> One of the rare times Dave talks on the CB. What do y'all? I know what y'all are gonna do. I can see them doing it. That's that's why I'm like I'm like just go ahead and let off even more because I know that they're about to cut me off. You can just see the Mercedes like drifting into my lane right in front of me, and I'm like, yeah, okay, go ahead, buddy, because I know you're gonna do it. I like, go ahead. What did my GPS want me to do? It wants me to keep going straight to Market Boulevard. You see what I'm saying? This is why, this is why, look, this guy take can't just get on in line with everybody else. Boulevard, then take the second left. Now, I will say, pretty much almost every city ever, you're gonna have some, all this crap going on, but Texas is a whole lot more, man. These people here, te look, I, uh, I haven't been driving for 30 years, okay? I'll admit it, I've been driving for one solid year, but I've been in and out of a ton of cities in that one short year, and I can tell you, well, let me tell you when I tell you, it's obvious how much worse Texas is compared to the other cities. I'm serious. It's just like everybody's cutting everybody off and swerving off for their exits because they're about to miss it and, and freaking skipping everybody. Everything else, man, it's just ridiculous. Like, these people about to cut me off right now, and I got to get over Okay. Take the ramp on the left toward I-35 E South, then keep right. I got over before they were able to cut me off, that's for sure. But yeah, I tell y'all what. And then you see the signs in Texas that say, drive friendly, the Texas way. But what? That ain't the most friggin' ironic sign I've ever seen in my life. Drive friendly, the Texas way. 
why I ought to. That's about. I don't even know what to say to that. It, you just, that's just the. I'm trying to get up the hill. I'm going. Come on, truck. It's just like it's the most. Look at look this. What I just tell y'all. These these idiots. You see that dude? Literally barely made it back over to this side. Like that's just every day in Texas, man. That's every day in traffic. Period. Like I said, but I'm telling y'all, it's more frequent in Texas. I'm telling you, you just it's just constant here. I don't know how you day cab drivers do it around us, but I couldn't do this crap every day driving in this. It's like that guy right there, he's a day cab driver. Right there in front of me. I'm getting over. Y'all don't block me. All right, we got it. You know they are, because I know this lane's ending. says do not cross the white line there chief but you did because you don't care now we gotta hang now this right. right and then turn left at the next light onto old hickory trail god this is a turn right here dude i have to take this wide make sure nobody cuts me off i wish this guy would get to go so i can start going it looks like yep now we gotta make Turn sure right we got it clear Hickory. I'm blocking oh uh, one more car dang it come on car come on come on Toyota come on come on come on come on there we go now he's done and we're gonna take this as wide as we possibly can I think I might roll over the curb nope Turn I made it and we got to take a left here and this is the road that it's gonna be on Whew. <laughs> at the traffic light. <sighs> well, we made it. And we are almost there. So now I'm just looking at the uh, satellite to try to see where I'm going to turn in at. I'm going to try this first main entrance up here, read the signs and everything, because it is going to be a main entrance. This lane ends. God dang, man. Crappy road. Come on, car. Come on, car. Come on. I know this lane ends, but I don't know how far it ends. I don't know if I take my right before this lane ends or after. I don't know. There we go. Now I got the clear. Okay. Let's just watch this freaking uh, satellite. Oh, it's set. All right. 40 miles an hour. We're going 35. We're good. No want me to turn right into the wrong building. <laughs> I know better. It wants me to take a ride into Serta, but I know better. Because it's not going to be this right here. It's going to be the next right, which is here. And there's CFI trailers back there. Yep, this shipping. Bam! Shipping, buddies! All right, boys. No, we're not turning left into anything, GPS. <laughs> I didn't trust either one of y'all throughout all this crap. Y'all would have got me all jacked up had I not had the satellite on. Shoot, I got a piece so bad right now. It's a fire lane. I can't park here, but where's the shipping department? Do I walk up those stairs there? I'm assuming I do. That's probably the shipping office. I'm assuming. I'm going to get out of this fire lane. Pull her back to the right like so then back to the left now my trailer's straight and i'm assuming that's the shipping office no that doesn't look like a shipping office let me ask this guy up here in his truck where to check in as <laughs> i don't know shoot be right back with y'all man let me find this shipping office all right boys so they got me in door 47 so we're gonna need to back up here because it's back this way i went ahead and opened the doors um i still didn't pee in case y'all were wondering, I still have to really go, but uh, yeah, let's go ahead and scoot back here. Door 47, it's gonna be this one right between Swift and Werner, it looks like. Oh no, there's something in door 47. Oh crap, I gotta go ask them. Yeah, ooh, um. She told me 47 and there's a Swift there, so 
I'm not just gonna back into another door. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna straighten out real quick. So I'm not all over the place. There we go. And just in case they try to pull that trailer out, I'm gonna back a little bit further because maybe they're having somebody come move it right now. I don't know. Anyways, guys, let me run back in that shipping office and tell them that there's a trailer in that door. So I'll be right back again. All right, guys, so she was like, yeah, okay, then do 46. So that's where we were going anyways. Back up a little bit more. I want to back up a little bit more so that I can get really close to this hole and we'll have all the room in the world to turn up. We really will. We'll have a lot of room. There we go. Now we're pretty nicely set up where I wanted it. I should be able to nail this one, boys. Famous last words, right? I feel like I've improved a little bit. Let's see. Let's see what we got going. So 46 is right here in between Werner and Swift. Just gonna be a trio of uh, mega companies here. <laughs> All right, let's turn her up. Hard. Then turn her left. Boys, boys. Now if that was not a good setup, I don't know what was. Now if that wasn't a good setup, I don't know what was. If that wasn't a pretty good setup, I don't know what was, my dudes. I can't see. Ugh. Let's pull up, back up to the left a little bit. There we go. Straighten it out like that. All right. Let's jack that thing a little bit more. There we go. Now that should be right on, I think. Huh? <laughs> so my setup was good, but my follow through was not as good. <laughs> but one little pull up here and we are pretty. Oh yeah, that's right on. I didn't even need to do that turn there. I actually made it harder for myself. Now I'm perfectly straight, like literally. All right, I gotta get a move over just a hair to the right. And hold it for a second, now move it back to the left. Yeah, I didn't go far enough. Need to go a little bit further. Now go to the left. There we go, there she is. That's what it, there's no lines, so it's kind of uh, <laughs> I can't tell if I'm straight or not. I honestly can't tell. Let's go ahead and slide these tandems real quick. Nice downhill actually. Just a gentle back slope. I just worked the brake. And I just hit it. Alright, safety vest. Let's go check and make sure that uh, that dock plate will go in. Let's take a spin to a foreign place. These open highways are calling our name. And now it's time for us to escape. Escape to a world we don't know Escape into the great unknown Escape to a world we don't know Escape into the great unknown Yeah, this is the line I was talking about. I wanted to keep my trailer as straight with that line as I could because it's the only thing I really had to, to know that my trailer was straight, you know what I mean? So, if we look under here pretty straight dog plate Ooh, what about that other side I can't tell oh yeah should be pretty good there boys if not they'll tell me it's not <laughs> all right boys now all I got to do is get loaded and then I'm off to Topeka Kansas thankfully <laughs> Whew. let's take a spin to a foreign place These open highways are calling our name And now it's time for us to escape Escape 
to a world we don't know escape into the great unknown escape to a world we don't know escape into the great unknown